What's up, man? This is Frank. You know my videos are for entertainment purposes, educational purposes. The information in this video may be factual, may not be factual. So you always want to do your own research when it comes to watching my video. Look, this video is going to be about the crime that's off the chain in Memphis. Look, bro, it's obvious and evident to me that when you look at the, the, the criminal activity in Memphis, the crime that's going on in Memphis, the people that's in control of diminishing that crime, fighting that crime, abating that crime, to me, it's obvious that they either lack the wherewithal to be able to do it, they not motivated to do it, or they don't have the resources to get it done. But what I think, I think it may be a little bit of those things, but this is just my personal opinion. I think the power brokers in the city, they run everything, man. You no know, financing, you know, the, the politicians, they run it all. I think you have a group of power brokers and people should know who they are. They run things throughout the entire country. I don't want to call in, call out what organization or what they're part of because YouTube don't like that. But the thing is, they run everything. I think those power brokers that control politics, criminal, you know, how, Law enforcement runs every the educational system. They got to influence mainly everything. I don't think that they want to see crime go away. I don't think that they want to see poverty go away because it's money main and young adults getting locked up, going to the juvenile system, young adults going to prison, people not being properly educated to the point to where you got certain people getting all the contracts in the city, making money. They see it's money man in ignorance crime and poverty. So I think you got a group of powerful people that's running everything that don't want to see things change in Memphis. But that's another topic. But like I said, it's obvious, man, that there's something going on that's preventing those in control, you know, as far as trying to fight the crime and diminish the crime that's stopping them from being, stopping them from doing it. So you got these teenagers and these young adults, bruh, they run around, man. They terrorizing the city. They making Memphis like a hostile territory. You see what I'm saying? You know, they're a serious threat, man, to the city. No, I think Memphis done probably had, man, over 50 homicides, if I ain't mistaken. I'm not sure. Probably, man, over 50 homicides in 2024. If, if they just shot several police officers, what, a couple of weeks ago? Now they were just having a block party in the area of Memphis called Orange Mound, and they shot 16 people, and they I think they killed two people. You see what I'm saying? Then you got these young brothers walking around, man, with these Glocks and these switches. You see what I'm saying? So, man, the criminal activity and the crime, the violent crime, is out of control. So you got Senator Brett Taylor. He done contact the governor, and Senator Brett Taylor and his, and his uh, constituents they want the National Guard to come into Memphis now and do something about the crime. And me personally, man, I think it's necessary. You see what I'm saying? Because we're at a point now to where nobody else seems to want to do anything about it. There's going to be a great impact on the crime. And then, man, you constantly got criminals being let in and out of the criminal justice center. Even if they commit violent crimes, man, they consistently getting out. So it's difficult, man, for you to just solve the problem by arresting people when you lock them up. You know, they getting right back out. So I think, man, something has to be done. So I think, man, calling the National Guard in, although you don't, might not want that, it might not be the best decision, but, man, something has to happen in order, man, for something to get done about this crime. And, my, and another thing, man, look, I'm going to close with this. The citizens in Memphis, man. See, when you turn the police uh, loose and you said do something about the crime, when you do that, the criminals going to start complaining and the parents of the criminals going to start to complain. When the police officers start riding and start trying to clean the city up, if you want your city up, man, you can't be let, you know, bowing down to that type of pressure. The citizen in Memphis said, man, we ain't, you gotta, you gotta say, we ain't trying to hear that. We want our city clean up. Cause when you trying to clean the city up and you dealing with these criminals, it ain't gonna be pretty. 
It ain't going to be peaceful. So the first thing you're going to have, like you always do, you're going to have criminals complaining. You're going to have their parents complaining because they want chaos in the city and they want to continue to do the things that they do. But the citizens got to understand that when you turn, you either want your city cleaned up or you don't. But when you turn the police or lose, man, it ain't going to be pretty. Sorry. But check this out. Senator Brent Taylor says his constituents are asking for the state's help now, and he's asking Governor Bill Lee to send in the National Guard. Action News 5's Kelly Cook has been speaking to city leaders and has the plea for help. Uh, well, Joe, uh, State Senator Brent Taylor says he hears it all the time from his constituents. We need this National Guard here in Memphis. He admits that's probably not the best idea because the National Guard is best used for natural disasters and other emergencies, and they're not really trained to, quote-unquote, stop criminal. But after a violent 48 hours in Memphis, he says something must be done. From thieves ransacking multiple stores to the untimely murder of a St. Jude employee in downtown Memphis. The dramatic uptick in crime this past weekend motivated State Senator Brent Taylor to send this letter to the governor. He says the city is under siege and his constituents are calling for the National Guard to restore order. We're already in a police state, <laughs> except that it's the criminals who are policing the streets. We're, we're in a state of emergency. I've been saying it for a long, long time. Former Memphis School Board member and Pastor Kenneth Whalem has been an early advocate for the National Guard coming to the Bluff City. He says he remembers when the National Guard patrolled the streets following the death of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Preliminary TBI data shows a 42% increase in murders in Memphis. And Whalem says we are long overdue for asking for help. You know what, Kelly? It might be too late. It might be too late. Um, and so I think we need to act like it's too late and try to do what we can to mitigate the negative effects. And so I don't think the National Guard is a solution. Uh, I think that we have to really take a holistic approach to Memphis. Senate Minority Leader Ramesh Akberry says there should be a focus on crime prevention and legislation. We have not addressed gun laws in our state. Now, we've tried incarcerating people longer. Uh, we've tried to get more police on the streets, but have we actually passed legislation uh, to make sure that guns are not going to be in folks' hands? No. Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis echoed Atberry's concerns, adding repeat offenders are the real problem. I don't care if we had the entire United States Army here in the city of Memphis. If we continue to see the same individuals committing crimes, you know, arresting our way out of this is not possible. While Taylor said the National Guard may not be the best suggestion, he does think his community is, quote, paralyzed by fear. In his letter to the governor, he requested unannounced, periodic Tennessee Highway Patrol surges on Memphis highways. He made other requests as well. Read his entire letter at actionnews5.com. In studio, Kelly Cook, Action News. But look, bro, I'm going to say this. These young folks out here, man, that's out here, man, committing all this crime and being violent. You can't talk to them. They passed being talked to. No pastor, no political leader, none of that shit. They not hearing none of that because they let the situation get too far out of control. The only thing, man, that's going to stop it is pressure. It's just that simple. Thanks for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.